Today, to the glory of God, all of us who believe in the success and the future of our great party came, stood firm, and uh, we've been able to at least sustain the opportunity up to the extent that today we are having the first APC state caucus. When we came, we met nobody in the entire government. The immediate governor who left, there was no handover notes, nobody to brief us, nobody to account for anything. Luckily for us, the accountant general we met, the civil servant. I called him as if they knew that they would not win. There was no cover left in the treasury. There was no money to hand over. But I met on ground a rule contract of 45 billion naira, which advanced payment of 15% from 10% were paid. And there was too much pressure. I feel the part of the people. Ogure was seriously defaced was not like a state capital. And the rules were begging for attention, really. And there was need, really, for us to continue with the job. I couldn't help but made my commitment to the contractors, please continue the job so that we can help our people. Most of the contractors, thus far several appeals, left side and they didn't want to continue with the job. Most of them informally came to me and told me their inability to continue with the job because the advance payment purportedly paid to them. They either did not get at all or some get part of, got part of uh, the advance payment. For me, it was not in my position to begin to look into things like that because you are either the contractor or you are not the contractor. But in the absence of going ahead with the job, a rainy season was coming and the water was seriously under threat, threat of a flood and the erosion. We did a quick assessment of the road network in Owere and the resultant flooding that will follow. There was urgent need for an intervention. So what we did was to quickly get an, a committee who went round, inspected the various road contracts and uh, after a series of reminders to the contractors to continue the wood job or to go back to site. And uh, recognizing what the people will say, if at the end of the day these roads are not done, the flooding will come and the water will be in a mess. So I didn't want to waste time. There was seriously, there was compelling need for us to determine some of the contracts. And they went ahead to determine some of the contracts, especially the priority ones. And they got some other contractors. Because of the global regulation, the procurement under pand uh, COVID-19 pandemic must, will come under emergency procurement. So we did a, an emergency procurement committee, got no objection from the Bureau for Public Procurement, and then assigned the rules to various contractors. Today you can see that despite the rain, where it did not flood. And um,